Hey, what's going on, the friends? My name is m 2 and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for Nintendo Wii U. Last time we off, we got past the Temple of Time. We defeated, uh, Goma! That's right, the Goma enemy of the game. And we finally defeated it. Uh, now, in this part, we are going to, um, progress the storyline. But before I do that, there's plenty of things that I want to do, um, in between. Uh, in between of going to the next temple, so, and, so, uh, and there's actually quite a lot, so, I don't plan on doing it in this video. I don't plan on doing them all in this video, since they all, since all of them are gonna take a while. So, I'm just gonna just do as much as I, I'm just gonna do as much as I, as I, as I plan. So, alright, so first things first, now that we can move these statues, uh, on the left side, there's a piece of heart, and on the right side, we have... Okay, well, first let's transform into a wolf before we get ourselves beat up here. There you are! Oh, please don't beat me up! Thank you! Nice. Okay, so, uh, that's, a. Uh... We need two more poses in this area, the Sacred Grove. For some reason, this, uh, this little area right here is still, is still part of the Sacred Grove. While, uh, the Temple of Time, while, like, if you actually go up the stairs in the, in this place, it is, it is the Temple of, it is just the Temple of Time. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure these, these first two rooms should be considered as part of Temple of Time. That's just me, though. Okay, so we're back here. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Welcome, well done, adventurer. Uka sees what, what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that that, that its magic it has been exhausted. Oh, ooh, what am I What am I to do? Uh, I thought at, at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten that the spell will have would once again bestow with, bestow with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that responded that he responds to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. In indeed. Well, Uku is on her way. See you again. Well, that's rather unfortunate. So guess what? Whenever you're not in the Temple of Time, uh, then the Dominion Rod is not. You can't. Well, it's it's hin It's it is not possible to use it anymore. Unfortunately, so you can still equip it, but as you can see, you can't really use it. So, and I'm pressing on my butt. I'm pressing on the button that I equipped it on, and it's not working. So unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. So, all right, now real quick, there's actually oh whoops, I chose the wrong option, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, what is that position? Uh, real quick, I actually missed something here uh, here in the uh, snow peak top, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back for it right now. And it won't really take that. It won't really take too long for me to go for it. So, all right. All right then. So we just gotta go ahead and uh, go back inside this cave because um, I realized that once I that once you have. Uh, the ball and chain after going through the uh, snow peak ruins We can actually now break these uh, little ice blocks over here So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and transform my, uh, back into a human go ahead and get my ball and chain out just like that and uh, Our Poe is right there, but first I want to break this because this, because this ice also has a uh, tor Also has a torch, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh god. I'm getting myself beat up as I'm uh Oh my god, I gotta hurry up here before I get myself beat up even more. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, light, light this up. Light, uh, light those torches up, and then a uh, treasure chest appears. This treasure chest is not important, but uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just light, light just to show you just to show you what's in it. What's in it. Uh, so, uh, alright. Okay, good. We're not getting ourselves beat up by his Poe. We're not gonna die against a Poe, otherwise that'd be super sad. At least, though, the good thing is that they don't do one heart of damage like Gold Skull Souls do for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it's programmed like that, but there we go. And with that, we get ourselves a, an orange rupee for our efforts. And can we warp out of here? Wow, we can actually warp out of here. Okay, that's, that, I'm really surprised that, that actually works. Alright, what's to do first here? Uh, I think I'll- I'm actually gonna make a quick stop to Bridget Elden. Uh, cause this will actually activate a side quest for me- uh, for me to do, and I wanna get this out of the way. 
And so remember the um, that uh, that Goron in Ma in the Malamar that wanted two thousand rupees. Well, there's actually a, a a shorter way around it that I'm gonna show you uh, right. I'm gonna show you right now. So first off, uh, in order to activate this, uh, oh what? The mailman actually go actually shows up at the bridge at Elden. Wow, I did not know that. Anyway, we have a letter from Renato. I'm gonna go ahead and read it later. And uh, actually, this letter is actually required, and you and you don't and you'll know what's in that letter. You'll know what's in you'll know what's in that letter because um, basically that's where that's where we're, that's actually where we're supposed to go uh, right now. Uh, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna go ahead and save that for later. So I'm gonna go ahead and avoid those guys for now. Those guys aren't really worth it. All right, so in order to get to where we need to go here, we need to go ahead and go over here, I believe. It's actually a long, a long ways about to actually get get there. I believe we're actually almost there. I don't, I don't remember, but it's somewhere on the end, uh, somewhere on the like the edge of this cliff here. I actually took the long way around to find in this area on my practice file. I start out by going left first instead of right, but then and then realized that I'm taking my, I'm taking a 270 around this place. Um, I believe it's actually here. Just follow the map if you, if you don't know where I'm going. You'll you'll pretty much figure it out eventually. Do, 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 do. That was actually me going off tune right there, not not the video going out of sync. Okay, it's right here, this bridge. All right, I'm gonna all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be a human since we're near it, because uh, like I said, you don't want anybody to see you. Well, I'm actually pretty sure you can't see you because his eyes are closed. But go go across this bridge right here and uh, talk to this guy and uh, talk to this Goron right here. I do not feel like doing a thing now. The bridge is fit now that the bridge is fixed, but my body feels terrible. I just cannot go 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 look for stuff to sell. You know, all, all I really need need is to shower myself with some pipe, piping hot spring water to get back to feeling normal. Okay, so that so that means one thing now. So now he's got to go back to Kakariko Village and uh, go ahead and uh, we just got to go back to Kakariko, Kakariko Village and get some hot spring water. Well, more like more like Death Mountain. In fact, actually, I missed something at Death Mountain. Um, yeah, in fact, yeah, in fact, I'm missing a death mountain, but I, but I will be there later. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to Kakariko Village, cause then that, cause then by talking to him, I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you, uh, I'm pretty sure talking to him activates the side, the side quest. I don't know what I did is went back to Kakariko Village, talked to, talked to the Goron, then go to Bridge of Elden to go talk to that Goron, and then go back here. So I'm pretty sure I can just take a short. I can just take this much for shortcut on into the side quest. Let's see. Long, long ago, I predicted that you would come, my brother. Tell me, my brother, uh, do do you not know of a, of a young guard in, in Castle Town? I suspect that he's currently ha hanging his head somewhere near near the East Gate. Here's a plan, my brother. Here's a plan, my brother. I will prepare some hot spring water, and you will douse that young one to revitalize him. What do you say? Will you do it? Yes. Okay. So now, he was gonna automatically transport you to br the Bridge of Elden, which is very good, because I because you don't want to go all the way out of your way to, to do that, because that'd be a pain in the butt. So, all right, here we go. This is how you do it. Now, what I now here's an easier way to do it. This is not. It is not. It is definitely way slower like like this, but it's definitely a heck of a lot safer. Uh, but basically, um. Uh, you want to walk on the edges of this cliff right here, because if you walk in the middle, the uh, there's gonna be levers out 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 here that are gonna go uh, be out and attack you. And sometimes a group of levers can come out and actually and put you in a in a situation where where you'll uh, get where you can't really get out of uh, get you uh, can't really escape out of them. Uh, so there are gonna be enemies following you while you're doing this, but that's okay because they can't really catch up to you. In fact, if there are fire arrow enemies that are uh, that are shooting at you, they'll hit the shield. So when so it's not too bad that if they try to hit you, though if you do actually get hit, you will drop the spring water and then it'll explode and then you have to go all the way back to Kakariko Village to go get it again, or to go get another one, and that is a pain in the butt to do. I actually had that happen to me because I went I went through uh, the field um, not on the edge 
and then ended up, and then I ended up uh, blowing up the the barrel of spring water, and it was, and it was uh, a pain in the butt, and I had to go ahead and uh, do it again. <laughs> I love the sound that he that that he makes. That smell, that heat, it is spring water from back home. Well, I'm 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 going I'm going to get back to get back to work and open up the shop. All right. Amazing. And for our efforts, he drops a piece of heart. Awesome. Oh yeah! Five pieces now. Alright. Alright, so nighttime is actually a, is approaching now. Um, which is actually- which is good and- which is sort of good. So... Alright then. Uh, next up, uh, I'm gonna go back- I'm gonna go to Death Mountain. To go get what I to go get what I'm missing right now. It was funny. Uh, um, I was actually doing that side quest while in a Skype call with Ninja Sparkle, <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Oh my god, is that is that, is that Goron taking a dub or something?" Uh, I, I just thought it was funny. Uh, okay, how the heck do I get out of here? Um. Huh. Did I actually trap myself or something? I hope I did not. Hmm. I don't think I was actually supposed to enter uh, Death Mountain like uh, th like this, but... Uh, let's see... Okay, I need to be at somewhere where I can't be spotted by these Gorons, but... But, but the problem is that these Gorons are everywhere, so I can't really do- oh god. So, there's not really much I can really do. Wait, can I just- oh, I guess I can transform. Well, well what the heck, I thought these Gorons were considered people, so... Yeah, these Gorons are, are considered NPCs, so it doesn't make sense that, that I'm able to just transform like, 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 like that in front of them. Or maybe they just weren't looking. Like, like you can transform around people as long as they're not looking at you. Wait, can, couldn't I just climb this earlier as a wolf? I don't, I don't know anymore. But basically, the oh, there's a Zora in here. What is a Zora doing in Death Mountain? It's always hot when I come here. At this rate, I'll be sun dried in no time. Well, yeah, you better go get some water. There's spring water if you keep going down. So that's good for you. Okay, is this the way? Is this the way out of here? Because this is this, because that's what I'm really supposed to do in order to. Oh my gosh! I think I've real. I think I. I think I was actually supposed to enter Death Mountain from the entrance instead of from the warping point in order for it to be easier. Because because now it's now it's actually harder for me to actually find where I'm supposed to go. But we'll see. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Okay, so talk to this Goron again. And uh, this is really dumb of me because I was already up here at this point to go look for that Poe. And I already got the Poe, but I didn't get whatever else was up here as well, uh, uh, either. So uh, I gotta go do that right now. There's that warping portal. Funny enough. Okay, I, okay, I'm, I'm taking my time right here, even though even though you can't really jump off here. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, where is it that I'm supposed to jump to? There's supposed to be a little. Wait, did I see it? Okay, here we go. Okay, drop down here. Where? Where the heck am I? Okay, drop down here, and we get another piece of heart. That's what I was missing. All right, now now I'm gonna go ahead and warp to um, Kakariko Village, um, cause it's uh it'll be faster than just make my way back even more down. 
And then, po and then have a possible chance of, of taking fall damage, and I don't really want that. Because fall damage is not the friendliest thing ever. Actually, you know, funny, you know, funny thing, if you um, if you actually walk, if you actually walk in town, like if you walk at like this point right here, then uh, top, then Tallow, who's on the top of, uh, who's still on the top of the building, will uh, will say, "Hey, everybody, run! There's a beast." So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't want you don't want him to spot you. Hey, there's that there's a uh, virus right here, and uh, and Gorkoron. Wow, what's a, what are they doing here? I wonder. I've been waiting for you. For, for, for fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you do you know Telma's friend Shad? Well, it seems well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he is he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I've learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the rod of the heavens or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that that to help her regain her, her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backwards from the very place where she lost her memory. We may find some, something that will restore it. Well, what, where, well, where exactly did she lose her memory? Now we must retrace I Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for, for her b before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take this Telma. And with that, we get Renata's letter. It seems to say, but to be, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance. All right then. So you can just go. So you can go down to talk to Shad. Going, Actually, you know what? I didn't read the letter that that, that we got from the mailman, and I just sequence break for for without even meaning to. Sorry. Anyway, here's the letter. Someone, there is something about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you are busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. All right. That there's the letter. There. Did, didn't see. I ended up not sequence breaking after all. Okay, so she remembers being saved from a dangerous situation by somebody, and somebody told told her about the Rod of Heavens. And now she can't remember who, where, what, or why. Hmm. Well... I don't know. Alright, hello, Gorkoron. Well, they get the girl, the girl's memory back, young warrior. We'll, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be up to, we'll be up to you. Even our chief Darbus has has lost the memory of his dark time. We, we have not, uh, we have, we have not told him that that you were the one who saved him. He is a proud Goron, and he can be touchy if if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of mor moral duty. So if anything happens, you can count on him to help. Okay. Little human, it is time for you to show your manliness for the girl's sake. If there is anything I can do to help, just say so. It is, it, it is in times like these that, that we must come to one another to one another's aid. <laughs> Not that you could ever do much to, to help me, my tiny friend. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's go down down the basement and see what we got. <laughs> Hello. Call me surprised if it isn't someone. What a coincidence! Me meeting you in a place like this—how very odd. A Harulian legend of the sky beings called the Uka. Hey, I happen to know something. Somebody like that. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe the statue. It's the same as the one in in the manuscripts of my, my my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, here, take a look at the belly. There, there's something written here. You see, this too was on my father's notes. It's called the it's called skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. Wait a minute. Is that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned, I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks a seal. 
Isn't there any way to restore our memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Oh man, everybody's like referring, everybody's talking about the rod. Everybody's like obsessed with the rod or something or like that, I don't know. Anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, climb our way out of here. We can't really do much in there any, uh, yet. Hence the word yet. So, for now, we just go back to Thomas Bar. Actually, before I do that, I want to actually do something while it's nighttime, and that is to go look for some pose. So let's go ahead and do it, and hopefully, and I don't think this is a good spot to go ahead and warp, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, warp. Oh, someone was gonna peek through the window, I bet. Okay, no, okay, no, not, not really. People can't really do that in this game, but, you know, uh, realistically saying, someone could. Uh, let's see. First off, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start by going to Lake Hylia, because there is actually a pole that I did not get for some reason. And I don't know how I did not. I ended up not getting it because it's actually not that hard to look for. 